Hello, Hello Floss Floss Tube. We're, we're the, the real housewives of cross stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. This is Ronnie. And Piper. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. We have our new shirts on. We'll show you as soon as we get done with the tiered tray. This Wednesday we had a release. So it first started out last week with uh, red, white, and blue. The truck here and then, no, no I'm this. sorry. This last week was land that I love. This week is red, white, and blue with mm -hmm. the truck. Okay. So we'll take them down. Can you get rid of the tray? I love these tear tray tidbits so much. It's so fun. So on Wednesday, um, red, white, and blue came out. She finished this on one of those blocks from Michael's again. Mm -hmm. A lot of you are stitching this or have stitched it. Somebody yes. just stitched the truck, was which was super cute as well. Mm -hmm. All right, we have, so um, t-shirts, they are not in stock yet. You can go to their website and notify me when available. So you you're able to your email. put your email and then they send you an email and you can order it from there. Mm -hmm. They updated the bus sizes. So if you um, weren't, we both got the same size that we do in hoodies and the other shirts that we so normally wear. They're like a unisex. I feel like we're like, yeah, it was like tipped down. They're a unisex size. So. But you can see their sizes on. There's mm -hmm. a chart. Just scroll over and there's a chart. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we had question. What did we do this week? We <laughs> Oh, we had a good Easter. We, we got beaten up by the house is what we did. <laughs> yes, we had a very nice Easter. We had a family wiffle ball game out there. Mm -hmm. Hunter broke the bat. The yeah. ball went straight through the bat. They're like cavemen when they hit the ball. It goes... Like over the house, we have a sometimes. long yard, so yeah. they just like to power drive it. <laughs> and I put some pictures on my Instagram and Facebook, and somebody said about you, Oh, it's so nice that she gets I get in there too. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't walk the next day because my Achilles from running, but we had a really good time. Food was all good, it was really nice weather. We got to eat outside. Um, Chelsea made the gray stuffed cupcakes from Disney. And they were so good. They so. have like a vanilla and chocolate pudding in them and you in can the make frosting. whipped cream. Yep, in the frosting. She just made like regular box, box mix, mix cupcakes and then we frosted the top. It was really good though. If you type in gray stuff cupcakes, mm -hmm. it's the first one that comes up. It was mm -hmm. super good. Um, and then just stitched and worked. That was this no, week. No, we cleaned the basement. Oh yeah. We are still in the process of cleaning the basement. Parker was a big help with that. He was mm -hmm. able to clear out a lot got rid of a lot of stuff he um kind of called me a hoarder <laughs> <laughs> hoarder with a d <laughs> um loaded but up I'm, some people's cars full of stuff him, you know i gotta save all this stuff to be able to do finishes i can't just get rid of it all because he was trying to just dump stuff mm -hmm. when she wasn't looking it was very funny uh you got some of your yard done too mm -hmm. i mowed the lawn for the first time we like I cut everything down I got my garden cleaned out Chelsea even planted some peas in my garden what else arugula spinach mm -hmm. lettuce onions so that's all started and now we have really chilly weather so it's good and we had a family dinner everybody could make it on Tuesday night so we went and had iguana Mexican, Mexican food. food it was good we were allowed. Um, <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> oh, you went to a football game, mm -hmm. football game last night. Mm -hmm. They're playing football here now. So, and then we went to dinner and it was really fun and funny night. <laughs> uh, we did have questions. So I liked seeing your, so a lot of people are like, I haven't had a finish since 1987. Don't you guys love these shirts? Mm -hmm. And some of them have like their first finish ever. Yeah. So congratulations if you're just finishing something. Mm -hmm. And it's okay if you're a serial starter. We don't look at, judge Look you. at her neck. Yeah, look at my neckline. <laughs> I need a necklace now. I had a bunch of necklaces, but Layla always seems to, to like break them or something. She gets them caught in there. Uh, so we had questions. Kimberly wanted to know, where did you get the ribbon that you finished the Serendipity Charity Project with? It matches perfectly and I can't find it on your blog. Oh, shoot. Um, that was that navy blue check. I feel like I got that at Michael's a while ago. 
when they send me the things for finishing, they're way in advance of when you get to see them. So I think it was Michael's a long time ago. Angela, do either of you use a magnifier light? I use the clips on my glasses, but I think it's time to graduate. No, I wear readers. But those, uh, a magnifier would make us both probably seasick. Yes, I tried it. When I got my first outlight, I tried to get one with the magnifier on it. It did not work. Oh, and I got new lights over my kitchen island too. Yes, pendant hanging lights, farmhousey. Mm -hmm. Linda, did you make the small wreath on calendar crates or is there an item number for it? No, I did not make it. I bought that either at um, the Target Dollar Spot or Walmart had them also. So you just need to find a small wreath. They do have some small ones at Hobby Lobby in their regular section, but they're like, um, what's that stuff, lamb's ear? So you could use that. The House of L, how long does it take for you to get from idea to drawing to stitched for showing us? It depends. I mean, each thing is different because sometimes I work on it and then I go back and I keep working on it. Like a piece that I'm ready to start stitching now, I've worked on it for a few weeks because it's changed from my drawing to what you're going to see. And I got to change it again. It was done, but I got to change it again. Got to add something. Lynn, will the calendar crates all be the same size? Yes. And the small is associated yes. with them will be yes. as well. That's why I use the magnets and washers so that we can just switch it out. And we've seen a lot of you using your finishing pieces already for other things and they look really cute. Yes. Faye, are you doing up on a pedestal as a series? Yes. Yes. We have two in it, the, Bunny Bakery the and next Barnard one Bakery. You'll be seeing next month. Or the end of this month. The end of this month, they'll see it for next month. Cheryl, what were your careers before cross stitch? <laughs> You were a crafter? Ooh, yeah, but that was a while ago. I was just a mom for a while. I worked as a general manager for Verizon, and then I became a stay-at-home mom, and then mm -hmm. we started this. I worked in customer service for a long time. Retail. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> um, be nice to your retail people. <laughs> Heather, what movie did Cash and Chelsea see? We saw Tom and Jerry. There weren't any like good Disney movies. The, the movies are... They're coming far straight between. to that Disney Plus now. Yeah, they're few and far between for kids. But, um, I mean, we felt perfectly safe. Somebody asked about it. Uh, they space you out. You have to pick your seats before you go. They space you out. Um, I mean, you can also rent the whole movie theater if you wanted to. And I think it was only like 100 or $120. But we just went. Um, and you guys did not remind her to buy a battery. So she did not buy a battery <laughs> for the clicker. <laughs> Maria would like to place an order for the crochet bikini. <laughs> I got a lot of comments about the crochet bikini. I'm not wearing it. Don't worry. <laughs> she uh, might. <laughs> Mary, my hydrangeas froze. Will they make it? They are established plants. Well, mine freeze every year, but I would think it depends on where you're located. We had freezing temperatures after my green stuff started coming, and my green stuff is still coming. So, Louise, do you have the color and brand of yarn for the baby blanket? I can tell you that, yes, because I did bring it in here to show you. Okay. But it's not done. Beth, how many tomato plants did you have last year? How many did you have? I don't remember. You probably had like 40. I probably had 20, 25. Mm -hmm. We just packed them in there. Mm -hmm. And I hope to do some more, more than that this year if I can figure out a way to do it. Tony, I really appreciated you sharing the finishing piece you used for Stitch Quarterly before it was released. Will you be doing that again in the future? Yes. Yes, I already finished the the summer one, and it, it went on my blog the same day as it was a bunch of Kimberly's finishes, the Stitch Quarterly for the spring, and then I shared the item number, and it's in the spring shop, so you should probably go get that and go get it. Okay. Penny, how is potty training going or is it on hold for now? And do you plan on having a garden this year? Um, potty training, we were in like the middle of it when he got his cast on and I, I was scared that he would pee on his cast if he was sitting in there. So I stopped and just put him back in diapers. So his as soon as- cast is grass stained now from Easter. Yeah, he Easter. was all over the <laughs> ground on Easter. He does not want to be left out. Um, and so 
it'll okay, start right back up. Yeah. It'll start back up on this week, hopefully, is if all goes well, if he gets it off. Um, and then do I plan on having a garden? I plan on just having pots, um, a container garden this year. Uh, Jenna, will the chart you are giving to those attending the meet and greet be available to the general public at some point in the future? Not for almost a year. Yeah, so they have it exclusive, but then it'll be available mm -hmm. after that, yes. Debbie, when everyone comes for dinner, how many people are you feeding? We have 18, and it can get a, loud, a little loud, but always fun. They don't have that many. I don't know how many we have. It seems like every week there's somebody missing, so. Yeah, but for, like, Easter, she was saying. What do we have, 12 or 14? Mm-hmm. And that wasn't everybody. Kimberly, do you think you'll do ever do a wedding chart? Yes. We yes, because we had two chalkboards from the wedding last year. Chelsea, my dog loves sitting on my stitching. This is from Chelsea, sorry. Do you have a problem with dog hair getting on your projects, and what do you do to remove it? <laughs> a lint roller. <laughs> yeah, and there's a lot of dog hair sewed into our things, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if somebody did a DNA test, it would be like all dogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what color did you use for the eyes for Double Double? I did not bring that one in here because I did not work on it. I can tell you if we stop and I, I'll go get it. Otherwise, I'll tell you next week. Um, and then uh, ML, who is the baby girl haul for every week? She's like, I've been watching. It's Bonnie. Bonnie's having a baby. Mm -hmm. Not either of us. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the Piper. questions I have this week. Piper. Oh, Piper <laughs> would look cute and all of that. All right, um, on, so we showed you Wednesday, and then on Friday, yesterday, we released, first it was Liberty, right? Yes, yes. first it was Liberty, and then yesterday came 4th of July. So there's a little parade going across the bottom, there's a wagon and a truck, and in the wagon there's a birthday cake with three candles, because Cash is turning three on the 4th of July, and also it's America's birthday, so I thought that that was a really cute way to get his birthday in there. But this is a star from, I think it came from Michael's last year. Mm -hmm. So maybe they'll have them again this year. Otherwise, you, maybe you can just find a wood star and paint it. And then I just added the Chelsea's checks. I did a bow and a daisy. And it's so cute. I'm so ready for all the patriotic things. Okay, you doing your whips? Do or? you have previous finishes? Oh, shoot, no. No, I do not. Okay, we were able to get um, grab Double Double for the person who asked what color she used. It was 3821 by DMC. I mean, if, it's only a few strands, so if you have a yellow, you can yeah, just it's just plug a light it in. gold. A bright gold. And then previous finishes, she has Prairie Schooler. This is that tray that hangs on my green cabinet in the hallway. And it's magneted to the tray. And the tray started out red. I painted it a dark gray and then I spray painted it white and even the beads on the bottom got spray painted and then the spring there's a spring summer winter and fall of this and I don't remember what chart this came with but this is also magneted so it comes out and the same with that one I change it out with the seasons My whips this week were 4th of July, um, red, white, and blue, and then I'm working on something. We, I, we snuck, sneak peeked it last week, but I can't show it now. Okay, so I didn't finish the color that I started. I was out way too late last night, and I started on the black coffee. So I did the scarecrow's eyes, mouth, the cat's, Calvin, his eyes, and then I started the... Uh, the sign and the chicken side. So after I finish that black, then I just have the Yule Gold and the Perfect Pie Crust for the Scarecrow's face, and it's done. And then on my Prairie Schooler Santa, I finished the bunny, and I got some more of the snowman done.
It's really cute. That's 2018 Santa by Fairy yeah. Schooler. So I just need to finish that white in the scarecrow or snowman, and then there's a back stitch on the for the, the branch. Yeah, and then it's done. I hope to have both of these done in the next. Well, at least that one next week. And the things that I stitched this week, I can't show you. Mm -hmm. So. The Punch Needle, a Primitive Stitcher Summer Magazine is due today, so that was one of the things. And then the special piece for the Tomorrow's Heirlooms. That one's due mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. We have to get it printed, so she finished that as well. So that's a week, two weeks from today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. Two weeks from tomorrow. Yes. April 25th. Mm -hmm. We got some gifts this I week. I got some haul. Oh, first. That's some good haul. So I got the the latest Santa from Prairie Schooler from Fat Quarter Shop, and then I got a bunch of floss. So this is the 2021 mm -hmm. Prairie Schooler Santa. And I can't decide if I'm going to start him next or if I'm going to start one of the other ones. Somebody had asked if you had started the 2021. 2020. Which said, one is that? I don't remember. They said they thought they'd seen you stitch it, but they didn't know if you finished it or... Well, I have one in here that's finished, but it's not... It's, sti it's stitched, but it's not finished. Um, I can't find the whole stack of charts. It's 2015. I still have to do that one. That's old. 2009. 17. No, I have not. It's still in plastic. That one is really cute, though. Mm -hmm. It'll be hard to decide which one to start next. And I might just wait until I have like three of them done and then finish them all at the same time. But it'll be exciting to have new ones to put on the tree. Right. And then I got to go with my bee things. It has a little bee up on the top. And there. I have to tell you guys a bad story. So I went into Home Goods. I got that and a cup. And I was walking to the register and I saw a big canister that said B, B E E, kind. I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. So I picked it up. I walked to the register. I went to go to the checkout and the top fell off. Broke. Oh no. Mm -hmm. It was the only one they had. And all the people like scurried around me. <laughs> and I was like, I'm so sorry. They're like, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Let me go get you another. I'm like, there's not another one. <laughs> <laughs> and the lady that works there, she's like, can I see all your bracelets? <laughs> I think she thought I was going to cry or something. <laughs> I was embarrassed. But anyway, then I, um, I went another day, or no, I went to the other store because we have two stores by each other, and they had three of these, so I got one for her. Oh, thank you. One for Bonnie, and one for me. That's cute. And it's blue for boy. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Mm -hmm. So you can keep that. Oh, thank you. And then, <laughs> baby haul. Okay. This is cute. Look at the little shorts. And the little hat. Little bonnet. One more. She took this one off to try it on or something. <laughs> Look at the pants. <laughs> That's cute. That's really cute. Piper, you'd look fabulous in that. <laughs> You might have to do a photo shoot. You want to show that as your whip? No. I, I haven't worked on this since. I've been trying to, like, I've been keeping this up in my bedroom to, when I go to bed at night, to try to do a couple flowers because I want to have it done. But I started to put it together and I do that join as you go method. I don't want to show you the whole thing, but I just want to show you that it's starting to go together. So pretty. What colors? 
Yeah. So it's uh, I love this yarn, and this one is white, obviously. Yeah, but they have like three different whites. So. No, it just says white. Um, that gray is gray mist, and the reason why I know that is because I bought another thing of it, and I bought the wrong color. So I can't even do any more work on it. And then the pink, the original pink that I bought was this one, and I didn't think it was dark enough, so I went down in the basement. And I'm not sure what color this is, but I know it's, I love this yarn because it's... Oops. <laughs> Don't try to wear that. Yeah, this is nice. Nipple cover. <laughs> and it's darker than what it's showing in the camera. But you can see the the difference between the two. Right. Yeah, they can. But I like that one better. So I'm not sure exactly what the pink is, but the gray is gray mist. Here's the white. All right, we had some gifts. So I'm probably close to halfway and then I gotta do the border. But the join as you go method is really easy because then you don't have to like sew it together. This is from Cindy's Cross Stitch. She sent us a cute card. She sent us some stamps for mailing and look how cute they are. Cindy has a YouTube channel also and she shows a lot of her garden. Sunflowers, she mm -hmm. loves sunflowers. Mm -hmm. um, she got Boss Mom, which is amazing with the crown. And then best bonus mom in the pink. Super cute. Yes, I haven't seen cute. any of these in store. Thank you, Cindy. Yeah, in her note, she said that she doesn't see very much redone, but she saw those and she thought that we needed them. We did. <laughs> um, and then this is from Grace. And <laughs> the puzzle is missing from this because Cash already took it home mm -hmm. to play with it. He absolutely loved it. He... He's trying to sing E I E O, but it's like O E O E O. It's really cute. Um, but she sent him a an old McDonald farm that sings, a booklet, a puzzle that sings. What, oh, I yeah. Don't know what I and he had to push the button like a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> um, crayons, stickers. Love these. Love these. He gets these as like rewards. So. Not all the time, or they'd be all over. And then a super cute bunny. So just a get well for him. Thank you so much. He mm -hmm. loved opening it. Everything was wrapped so cute. Uh, he, he gets excited. And then there was this. This is from Juanita. She has an Etsy shop. Um, it's Heavenly Crochet USA. So she sent us a really sweet note and she made this doll for cash and then a blanket for baby that is cross stitched. Super cute. You can see the X's. So cute. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So thoughtful and generous. He's gonna love his baby. And they're soft too. All right, All right, stop biting me. I'm going to put you in a dress. <laughs> oh my gosh. The baby needs matching clothes with Piper. We had a lot of giveaways last week. A lot. So I will go through them. The first one, if you win a giveaway, you just email me. If you want a PDF, all you have to do is email me and tell me what you want. If you want something that I have to send out, make sure you send your physical address. Make sure you guys tell me sorry, what you won. Um, land of the free, you get, uh, there was three opportunities to win this. This is a PDF. Tea Drinking Mama, Laura Shoop, and Ann Gormley. Thank you so much. Next up was three opportunities to win Liberty. Again, these chickens can be found at Scarlet Sky Designs TX on Etsy. They have a bunch of different shapes. Uh, Justine Scales, Kimma B2, and Katie Yule. And that, that bead of garland came from um, Hobby Lobby. And then I just used a little bit of wire to twist it on there so it can come off. Yes. Then um, we had these. Oh, did I read those? Hmm? Did I read? Yeah, I did. Okay. 
<laughs> it's just making sure. Did, you read it? Did I read who won? I did. Oh. I was just making sure I read it. Uh, Stitchy Star. So these upcoming ones are all from Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you, Kimberly and team. Stitchy Stars. The winners are Mary Lyons, Emily Wittenberg, and Carol Ann Brake. Then there was. It's in here, guys. Don't worry. Here it is. Welcoming and cheerful. This is, um, I think it's number, yeah, nine. Nine of the Prim Series uh, Stitch by Lori Holt. Elaine Edwards, Christy Martin, and Cindy Purnell. Congratulations. Next up was the Set H Stitch Cards. This goes to Julie Sutton, Liz Pelletier, and Janice R. U. Merry Making Quilt Pattern. Jean Reddy, Angela Buckley, and Laura Coleman. The, she won't chew on me if she has a toy. The Stellar <laughs> Quilt Pattern goes to Amy Millat, Nancy Gatz, and Simply Narelle. And then we decided to give away some of our charts, and that was Liberty Farm. So these all, we did that this, this week. Yeah, Monday. Monday, we did that. Was that? Yeah, it was Monday. Um, shipped out mm -hmm. charts to shops, Liberty Farm mm -hmm. and America the Beautiful. Yep, so you should be able to find them in your shops. So Liberty Farm goes to Evelyn Christensen, Sharon Burton, Tanya Wilson, Diana Ripley, and Barbara Deary. And then America the Beautiful. This goes to Tracy Kerfman, Diane Morici, James Elliott, Dee Frazier, and Mary Brockhoff. And then, this is from Fair Quarter Shop. This was the Flea Market Flowers uh, Stitch Along Kit. You get the pattern, the floss, the beeswax, and the floss. Fabric, fabric floss, floss, pattern, and wax. Melissa Graham, Amy Dyson, Donna Jackson, Pugs and Stitches, Jessica Laurie, and Denise Whitcomb. Congratulations. Congratulations. And then last but not least, we did um, five picature out of our shop. So our Etsy shop. And if you want to use it at a later time, if you've got everything that you want right now, you can just tell me that you won and say I'm going to follow up with you later mm -hmm. as far as what you want. Uh, Pearl Stillwell, Sherry Ruble, Kat G, Chandra Parker, Chandra Parker, sorry, and Carrie Bach. Awesome. Congratulations. And those are PDFs. Yes, you get a PDF. And then it wouldn't be Saturday if we didn't have giveaways today. <laughs> so the first giveaway is three opportunities to win red, white, and blue. Number two is three opportunities to win 4th of July PDF. Number three, oh, oops, from Fat Quarter Shop. Just let it down. There we go. Number three is, um, those three opportunities. Three opportunities to win the Flea Market Flowers Kit. So fabric, pattern, plus. plus and beeswax. I don't have it right here, but we have it. Uh, so number three is three opportunities to win this. Number four, three opportunities to win the Set H Stitch Cards. Super cute. Number five, this is the Fabric of the Month Club. So they have Fabric of the Month, two uh, options. Ada or Linen. Ada or Linen. What number was this? Three, four, five is the uh, linen. It's Icelandic blue, 28 count. Number six is two opportunities to win the Ada. Number seven is three opportunities to win Stitchy Stars. Number eight, we talked about these last week. Three opportunities to win these metal trays that would be great for finishing. Mm -hmm. Or just sticking your stuff Right, notions and whatnot on if you want to. So if you have that next to your chair and you put magnets on the top, yeah, then you could put, put your, your needles, needles in there. Like yep, put your needle minders in there, and then your needles would be in there, and your little scissors. 
If you missed last week's episode, I want to talk about that as well. Um, Fat Quarter Shop listened to their mm-hmm. uh, poll that they did, and they released calendar crates as a um, pattern and floss club as well. So they have two options for their calendar crates club monthly. You can get the fabric floss and pattern or just the floss and the pattern. Mm -hmm. Uh, They're still taking signups for that if you wanted to do that as well. Mm -hmm. Just in case you missed that. I know a lot of people were um, concerned about stitching on Ada. They wanted it either black or they wanted to do it on 28 count Mm -hmm. linen or whatever. Or maybe they want to do a different color. Yes. Then the each month and then they would have that opportunity if they didn't have the fabric yep but you have all the floss and you have the chart so our shirts just get on the notify me yes so you just put in your email and then they'll email you when they're available they're awesome (laughs) they are super soft Mm -hmm. um they have a little bit of stretch to them they're to me they're a longer shirt so i mean Mm -hmm. good covers up Mm -hmm. Um, and the sleeves are a nice length too i i like that better than the cap sleeves yes if you're young, you probably like the cap sleeves. <laughs> I don't know what cap sleeves are. Like, you know, the ones that come to here. Oh, no. No. No, these are, like, probably, what, an inch above your elbow or two inches? Yes. I you can roll them up if I you want. I roll mine. Super cute, though, and mm-hmm. really comfortable. Yes. <laughs> we're and we love the excited. V-necks. We were hoping the weather would cooperate for us with mm-hmm. the V-necks, but... No, we had really nice weather. It was, like, 80 on Easter and mm-hmm. the next day and... Yeah. Yeah, we've had really warm weather, so. It was hot on Easter. Mm-hmm. It was hot. We had ham, steak, two types of steak. A yep. marinated flank, flank steak? Mm-hmm. No. Yes, a oh. marinated flank steak, and then strip steaks. We did two pans of hash brown casserole, fresh green beans. Mm-hmm. You made that Pioneer Woman macaroni salad. Oh, did that get eaten? Mm-hmm. Oh. They were taken at home in um, troughs. No, the the red solo cups <laughs> just to go <laughs> in a Ziploc bag because they've taken all my like Cup containers. Holders. Yeah, that's funny. They they come in the house with you know a stack like this once a year of my <laughs> Christmas day <Yeah. laughs> to take Don't it home that. again. <laughs> To take it home again. No, but the, the two pans of hash brown casserole were gone. The whole ham was gone. It, it was, was all gone. gone. And she, she came over the next morning because we had to do And she's like, I was hungry. They took, all the food. <laughs> <laughs> they took all the food. I didn't want any leftovers. So I didn't she's want to have to deal with it. So yeah. it was good. No, it was good. We, I, I had a little bit of the macaroni salad left over and I had one of those cupcakes. Macaroni salad has like spicy pickles in it. If and black olives. Black olives. Um, and that spicy roasted pickle, red peppers. Spicy pickle juice. It's just gives like, a little kick. It's awesome. If you haven't tried it, you should try it for a mm-hmm. summery picnic. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> I, I decided that I was going to order the Hello Fresh. Oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> on a whim. Like she she doesn't get drunk and order things online. She just <laughs> gets super tired and orders things online. So you have to pay for it before you can see what meals they have. And then when I went to pick the meals, I was like, I don't like this stuff. <laughs> so, and you had to so pay I like eight dollars more a meal if you wanted steak, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So I had to cancel. So I canceled it. But you had to accept the first box. So we did a raffle on Easter, and Hunter and Destiny won, and they've loved it. So they, they, they even started it. it. Yes, and they ordered one. So with hello four fresh, servings. you owe me. <laughs> They ordered one with four servings instead of two, but the stuff Mm -hmm. that they were making, it looked really good. They had like chipotle chicken bowls. They had, um, what was that chicken? I don't know. Some other chicken. Oh, and they made like these pork enchiladas with, um, that, was it enchiladas? Yeah. Pork and peppers. I don't know. It looked pretty good. Pork and peppers. But when I looked at it and there was like all those instructions and everything, I was like, uh, and then, oh, there was one thing that had sweet potato hash. I don't eat sweet potatoes. I don't know why I picked it. And I was just done. So it got raffled off. You pick sweet potatoes? Mm -hmm. You don't eat sweet potato hash. She doesn't eat sweet potatoes. I think that went with the bowls. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably. But they've loved it. They've put it in and they sent us the recipes. I don't know if that's a lot. Is it a lot? It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but they, they really liked it. So if you, you're you thinking about that, maybe you should try it. But try it like I did and then cancel <laughs> it right away and then don't even eat it and raffle it off to your kids. <laughs> I don't know. Is that the right word? Give away to your kids? It was raffled. It, well, it was a, a drawing. Um, we did that on mm-hmm. Christmas too. She bought gift cards and we played bingo to win prizes. 
And then uh, we had a little Easter egg hunt where they had to go find, the older kids had to go find the eggs. Not the older kids. But not us. The grandkids <coughs> had to buy, yeah. find their eggs with a number on it, which was associated to a prize. And I let the boys hide the eggs, the big boys, and they had them in places where no, <laughs> like an exhaust a pipe of a car, <laughs> like, <laughs> mailbox up on a tree. I mean, the, the kids are little. It, it was up on a twenty foot tree. Like it was very. Funny. It was funny. Yes, under pot. They had fun. Um, a fun game of wiffle ball until yep. the bat broke. I ordered another one. I, I came, struck out on the porch. I was. I'm not very good at sports. I struck out once too. I just went this. Yep. Our team lost. Her team won. We had champions on our team. Yeah. Yep. She got two of the brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna get picked last. Whatever the case is. No, the, so I got picked last. The grandkids <laughs> got to pick the teams. And I'm like, I'm not gonna get picked last. I'll give you five bucks if you pick me first. Didn't no, pick and me all, first. all the boys told them you have to pick her last. So <laughs> they picked me last. <laughs> A little creep. <laughs> Um, this coming week, we've got doctor for cash. Um, hopefully he gets his cast off permanently and doesn't have to put another one back on. But he has to go into a walking boot if he can get it off. Yes. Which, I mean. I think that they probably do that because his leg will probably be really fragile right now, right? They said his leg is going to be super skinny, not to be alarmed. Yeah. I and am so excited to get him it. a dang bath. So this boy's foot in that cast stinks. <laughs> <laughs> he has smelly feet just naturally. I don't know who he gets that from. Um, but it it's bad. It's bad. Like, he whips that thing around and you can just smell it. So, like, I try to take a Q-tip with, like, rubbing alcohol just to get it a little bit clean. But it is nasty. He, he's excited for a bath, too. He Every morning he wants to take a bath. But he's excited for it. He gets sponge baths. I bathe my kid. But he wants to, like, shower. Um. Okay. So, we've got that going on. I think that's it, right? I don't even know what week this is. Oh, we have a baby shower coming yes. up. So we will be yep. filming Friday instead of Saturday. It will still go up on Saturday. So right. So if still you want to enter the giveaways, make sure you do it by Friday. And um, Thursday, making cookies for the shower. So yeah, that'll be a, a long day. Yeah. I'm I trying to think it. of what else. Hopefully and then the, the following week when we have... Gets better. <clears throat> the meet and greet. We are super excited. We're going to wear our t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's warm enough to wear our t-shirts and not our sweatshirts. Because <laughs> it's only going to be in the 50s next week, so. That's true. We live in Illinois, Wisconsin. Like, it's normal. All right. Well, we appreciate you hanging out with us. Okay, so to enter the giveaways. Oh, what are they Like answering? the video. Be a subscriber. Oh, shoot. I would kind of like to ask them what the, the star of their Easter meal was. Yeah. What was your favorite thing from your Easter meal? My and I, 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 I did tell people that, um, mine was the cupcakes. The, we'll link the gray stuff cupcakes and also the, what else would, what are they asking for? The hash brown casserole? Mm -hmm. And the hash brown casserole. We'll give you the recipe for those on my blog. I, I plan to do it this week, but like my house and yard just beat me up this week to tell you that. I'm just got we have like 12 bags of yard waste ready to go out. The garbage can. We went and bought one of those green bags to get rid of stuff from the basement. And people came and took it. So we don't need the green bag anymore. <laughs> she had a lot of just old stuff that, you know, she's not using anymore. We needed to go to a new home. So they came and picked it up. Parker put it on Craigslist or something. And I mean, their cars were packed. <laughs> packed. I walked out there just on a whim to throw out a diaper. And I was like, do you need any help? <laughs> like, Packed. <laughs> She's like, what's going on? I said, well, we just don't need it anymore. And we made a few trips to the Goodwill, and... Yeah. It was good. She probably feels a lot lighter that all that mm -hmm. stuff is cleaned out of there. But it's still not finished. Like, they put up shelving units for all of the finishing pieces to go on, and we need to get that organized, because I was looking for one yesterday. I couldn't find it, so I had to go to the store. She's got stuff now that she uses, though. So it's not stuff that's just sitting there being a collection. It's stuff she's going to use, which mm -hmm. is important. I don't want to move anything ever again. I think about moving, and I'm like, oh, gosh. It felt like moving what she was doing, like packing up all that stuff. to All my scrapbook supplies got donated. All of it. 
but she just she decided I'm not gonna do it and I'm I'm gonna do digital if I I have the time I'm mm -hmm. not gonna do you know you you don't print out pictures anymore for whatever reason you stop printing out pictures so I mean I still print some but it's but I somebody else can I use it touched it for what 10 12 years so it was time for it to go but somebody came and picked up all the paper that Chelsea hadn't taken last time we cleaned the basement. <laughs> Probably like, you know, those booklets of paper, probably 40 or 50 booklets of those paper. I mean, huge envelopes of embellishments and things. And then mm -hmm. fabric that she had from when she had a crafting business that she's not going to use. She has to use stuff that you guys can get mm -hmm. readily available. And some of the prints were just out of date. It, mm -hmm. I mean, it's time for something new. So. But people were excited to get it. So that's mm -hmm. all that matters, so they right? They said, your loss is our gain. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yep, so we, we did all that, and then, and then working in the yard and everything, it's been a long week, so, and getting things ready for our next release. Mm -hmm. But, we're good. So, tell us what the star was over your Easter dinner, what you liked the most. Maybe if you went out to eat even, tell us what they had that was the best thing ever. Because we need some new ideas. We're over it. Hello, Fresh didn't work out. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous that I ordered it and was like, okay, who wants it? <laughs> right. I'm going to make that one of the grandsons pick the name out of the cup. And they were like, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Can't please them all. I'm going to make a uh, Pioneer Woman chicken spaghetti this week. I oh, made a good. knockoff uh, chicken gnocchi soup from Olive Garden. Olive Garden. And it was super good. It has spinach and chicken <clears throat> in it. It was <clears throat> really good. I got the gnocchi at TJ Maxx, actually, and I was like, just, I don't know. <laughs> I thought It was maybe. a huge, like, tray of it. Yes. I said, look at this. It was super good. Because we've made the homemade stuff before. Yeah, but I was That was a lot of work. <laughs> this was, like, a 12-minute soup. It was super easy and super good. So I recommend doing that as well. Okay, so follow us on Instagram, at Priscilla Lane, at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, and ooh, Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com, where you can see more of everything that we do. And if you get your finishing inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects and join our Stitching with the Housewives group. Y'all behave this week. Um, no, there's so many people trying to get in that don't belong in there. <laughs> I don't understand it. And they're all men. They're just um, spammers. So there's a lot of spammers that they're are probably trying to date all of our people. We're not saying that men <laughs> don't belong in our group. We're saying they're not men that craft. They, no. It's just, <laughs> just wackadoodles trying to get in. We've heard that from other groups too, though. There's it's no it's really... so funny because the, there's two questions that they have to answer, and their answers are yes, bro. Yes, bro. <laughs> or okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. And the okay is spelled with two O's. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> so. Anyway, do all those things. And we are excited for the meet and greet, but it's not this week. It's the next week. This week is the baby show. Yep. So. We've got a busy couple weeks coming up. And everybody said that they would have liked to see pictures of the baby mump. So hopefully we'll get some pictures of the shower. The baby mump? Bump. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't really take any family pictures. So I don't know. No. We're I took busy. pictures of the three kids and. We're busy. It just didn't happen. So hopefully we'll get some this week for you. Yep. All right, guys. We will see you. Remember, we're going to be filming on Friday. So if you're interested in winning the giveaways, make sure that you enter by Friday. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to post on Saturday just like normal. And don't forget to go get notified about the shirts if you want one. Yep. All right, guys. So you can get in the first batch. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.